Peggy. Don't peter out. Don't peter out. Well, that's a good handle. That's uh, right. Peter from that we met the other day. Which Peter? Oh, that's Peter. Yeah. That Peter. Yeah. Nice. What's up, Peter? All right. Where's is, he in, is he in Denver yet? I don't know. Probably. I mean, are you in Denver? That was you are you Denver? A quick turnaround. Are you in Denver? Are you in Denver? Are you in Denver? We're also now on YouTube. This is YouTube. We did both yeah, these. We're streaming on YouTube. At Dude, the same time. You're so technical, Thomas. Yes. There's a so, lag, so I can't tell what can't. we look like. Yeah, but the, <laughs> the weird thing is we're now shots. watching ourselves lately. So basically, if I see that, it already happened. I can't fix it. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. So this is entirely too technical let, for let, us. Let, let sleeping dogs lie. Do, do you so. do you remember? Do you remember when we were so untechnical that we were just in my backyard? Remember that? So I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> However, it was. How many? That was like what? Know, three months ago? You don't really count. COVID months don't count. I know it doesn't count. It's like dog years. Sometimes. You know what I mean? It's like dog years. Like one year feels like seven. Maybe Co one month. COVID is like, like a quantity. It yeah, is. It's like a a Newton. <laughs> a one Newton. COVID. I, as late. my kids would say, it's Googleplex. Googleplex. I didn't realize that was actually a word. I thought they were making it up. Googleplex? I thought it was like I thought it was like some sort of new Google game they wanted. Oh. See, I see that because I know that they're watching. Oh, they're always watching. Right, I mean, we're so on Google. We're on there YouTube go. now. There we go. I know. We, we got Insta We got we Facebook like thank, and we thank got our Google. sponsors, Facebook and Google. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the day. That will be. That's when we can offer when we can offer value to those companies. You know that you've made it when you got Google and Google. When Mar Mark Zuckerberg is asking us to help him he's out, he's our homie. <laughs> we, have, we, we all we really need to spread a, the word. The key is a handshake. Yeah. You're not a homie until you have a handshake. All right, who else we got, Justin? Who else we got? Uh, we got Coors Joe. C who? Uh, Coors like the beer? No. Oh. It starts with a Q. <laughs> <laughs> Coors underscore J -J Joe. Okay, what up, Coors Joe? It's gonna be Quest Joe potentially. Cora Yak. Cora Yak. The Yak. The Yak is back. Uh, Don Peter out says he's thirsty. Nice. Cora Yak says uh, raspberry lemonade. The raspberry lemon. No aid. Raspberry lemon. Kimber 0086. Kimber! Dr. Mike Hinderman. Oh, dude, we got Docker in the house. Ooh, Docker. Doctor's in the hizzy. Bay Area on tap. That's a Bay Area. What's so up? Bay Area on tap. Timius. You guys got to, y'all got to try, gotta try this. this. Whatever, yeah. this, whatever this is. What's All up, right, everybody? J Johnson, yes. let's get rocking. Dude, let's do it. Guys, it. when the glasses are full, the time to get empty. Is oh. that a, that's a new saying. Thank you, sir. That's a new saying. When the glasses are full on Thursday, it's time to get empty. That is, out, that is a. My bosses that, love me. <laughs> We'll work on that catchphrase. <laughs> when the glasses are full on a Thursday, it's time to get empty. <laughs> As we always say. <laughs> I, have a, I have a better one. That's a thing. What uh, you when, got? When you're thirsty on Thursday, quench your thirst. Quench your thirst. So, quench your thirst Thursday. So say we all. So say we all. That's all right. I think well, from Battlestar Galactic. Happy though. Thursday. I'm just happy that it's sunny. Battlestar Galactic. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? I don't even know what that is. Is it's that a movie? A, it's a TV. Okay, it's like Googleplex. Yes, it's like Googleplex. <laughs> I got Go it. Google it. All right. Well, today is. It feels like almost the first day of spring, but I think that, but that's not till Sunday. Is that actually the first day of spring? I don't know. It's when the ch clock it's changes. A, it's I a, feel like it's that. Only like the, in California, it's the only yeah. thing that matters for spring. <laughs> I know. Like when, when the clock changes, that's technically spring. Well, I heard. Uh, I heard the groundhog is still not vaccinated. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's still standing in his hole. The shelter in place still. <laughs> the crowd, your shoulder, the squirrels are not. They're active. I'll tell you that. Yeah, being uh, an empty parking lot is really. I, not, I know it's really not good. It, well, yeah. it's, it's exploded the squirrel population. I can tell you that. That's your next IPA, dude. If, <laughs> squirrel population. Squirrel population. Oh, dude. I'll tell you what. If uh, if the groundhog was here, he'd be happy. Yes. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, All right. well, we have some fun and exciting news coming today. We have finally made it. You've seen the prototype. Probably, I guess that was November? three months ago. October, November. It was COVID ago. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that was sometime. Sometime <laughs> in the past year, you saw this, but we have now made uh, our first V pack of our hard fruit that, spritzers. That's variety pack for V pack for. Right. <laughs> That's what we call, so, see, this is, for those in the know, we I'm, call Variety Packs V-Packs. I'm getting in my distributor mode already. They're not V-Packs. <laughs> well, technically they are. Yeah. Because you made them. Different different product. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Variety Packs. Yeah. Uh, it's got the three flavors y'all already know, which is Pog, Pineapple Mango, and Pomegranate Blueberry. 
but then we added the fourth the one. The fourth one. That's releasing today. Today at the tap room for this weekend. This is Raspberry Lemon. And I am so amped and hyped on this skew. And it's not raspberry lemonade. It's not raspberry it's lemonade. It's more like it's raspberry sweet. with a twist of lemon, like a cocktail. Yes, it is. Like yeah. it is like a twist. Like a twist, like well, a martini. Let's stop talking and start drinking. Here right. we go. All right. Cheers. Happy Thursday, everybody. Questions, comments, concerns? Question, comment, concern, guys. Oh, so the, so what you're going to find with raspberry. You can also scroll up and down, Johnson. Yeah. yeah. Mm. For sure. Yum. <laughs> Real raspberry. That's the thing. I think 99% of the raspberry drinks that I get in the market are fake. They taste yeah, like they're candy. Yeah, Tussin adjacent. Tussin adjacent. <laughs> <laughs> That's a technical term like, we like use in the brewing like community. Some tussin raspberry? I get notes of Tussin. Ch tussin. Children's Tussin. Ch it's children's a little lighter. Tussin. <laughs> uh, but what we, I think it's, this is the most juicy. Yep. Of of the skew the, the the skews the skews look at you now you're getting on the skew you're like <laughs> uh, of the flavors um, it's I think it's also the most probably the most crushable hey, I like think this or like pog this you could I think you can crush more of this in pog and it's coming out perfect time when the summer's out so the, it's very simple ingredients in this so we use our rosé wine yeast strain mm -hmm. because it's a lighter red fruit so unlike what we do unlike what we do with the uh, See, people are getting happy over here already. See, it's Thursday. It's live. They're, they're, it's live. That's what, happens. <laughs> That's what happens when it's live. It gets, it's, it's a little crazy. So instead, so instead of like what we do with like a pomegranate and blueberry, this one uses a rosé wine yeast strain uh, because it marries better with the fruits. Yeah. And then we're putting a couple drums of like, a lot of. Like, yeah, um, like like a lot of like raspberries. A, like a lot of raspberries. So, I mean, it gets this color. This is just from raspberries. It's from raspberries, and that. I mean, and that's in a lot too, mm -hmm. right? So when we were making these, these are roughly uh, how many gallons? I can't do the math that fast. Ten thousand. Ten thousand gallons at a time, right. or as we like to say here, a crap ton yeah. of <laughs> a large quantity. A large quantity. Look at you, you're so you're yeah. so technical. It's uh, some amount. Mm -hmm. It's like a COVID amount. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so with raspberries, then rosé wine. Um, the rosé wine yeast strain, and, and then, then at the end we add a twist, basically a twist of lemon. We actually use pureed whole lemons, so you get some acidity, but you also get the balance of a little bit of that citrus zest. Um, uh, to me, it's almost more like a like adding a little bit of lemon on a martini, or yep. where it's just just to give it you, pop you, the nose. That's my drink. Yeah, you know, if I know it's like like a, like a little, little twist. I find it almost has like a more like a Meyer lemon sweetness. Versus, like, I feel like so many lemon, so many lemon drinks just taste like sweet lemon pith. Yeah, or pledge, or or, or pledge. Fair, <laughs> fair. This one, this one has like more of a sweet taste in the end, so it's not going to be overly lemonade. It's really raspberry forward with a hint of lemon. Yeah, it's like a floral <laughs> lemon balance. Mm -hmm. mm. But um, super yeah, crushable. Man. Super crushable. This is dangerous. Hi, Jevin seven seven seven. She said she's sorry. Uh, she missed it. Raspberry lemon and V packs. Yes, yes. raspberry lemon and V packs. So we and on draft and on draft now at the tap room. So we've got V packs are going to be available as of this week. Variety packs. Variety packs. That means four varieties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to. It. So four varieties in the variety pack. Um, this the one that the one that's only available in the variety pack is the raspberry lemon. Looks like this. Looks like this. That's so pretty, Thomas. Oh. Who designed that? Johnson. Johnson. No. Did you design that? <laughs> I did not. Do Johnson's that. an artist. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. He did all the this signs. Guy. This, guy. Bo, this guy. This guy. This guy uh, right here. So and besides, these, these will also start hitting stores soon. They're all they're in stores. So the stores that you could find them at are going to be Total Wines and Bevmo. Currently, you're also going to see we're doing a big program with Whole Foods for the month of April and May. Program. So, program. V-Packs. So V-Packs. SKU. SKU. <laughs> distributor. <laughs> distribution. This is what happens. So you'll see that in April, May at a at Whole Foods store. So uh, again, 100% organic. Like everything that everything that everything that we've always done with spritzers, uh, just only better because now we got a summer one. So besides uh, the new raspberry lemon. Uh, Spritzer, mm -hmm. what else? Uh, what else? Spritzers uh, are in the V pack, guys. Uh, Pog, pineapple mango, and pomegranate blueberry. So all the ones that we've had, but now with a new special flavor. A new special flavor. Speaking no, of flavors, I, I see more flavors of things over here. <laughs> oh, we got uh, so our, 
Thursday, this? Thursday. We're Thursday. back. We're back to mystery beers. Or kind of. Mystery non beers. Mystery non beers. So, it doesn't roll off the in the vein, I'm going to throw this out there as a gauntlet, Thomas mm-hmm. and Johnson. Oh, yeah. For us to, what are we in? Oh, pack. Pack boxes. Yeah. All right. So, I'm throwing this out there for us. I'm giving us a Calicraft challenge to have the the slushy machine up and going by Cinco de Mayo. Ooh. Do you think that's realistic? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Marsh. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we could do that, yeah. right? I don't so, know if it. There's up and running, and there's good and running. Um, but I just said up and running. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll be there. <laughs> it doesn't even have to. Uh, well, hopefully we can make them alcoholic, which we will eventually. But if worst case no, we'll have other slushies. Yeah. Inte, it's the freshest. Mm. Voltami, color so beautiful. <laughs> incredible, Thanks, mom. incredible gamer. I want to know what it tastes like so bad. It's so good. It's literally. <laughs> it's like. It's if you had if you bit into a fresh raspberry, and like it's that second part. Like after you bite into the raspberry and then you start to chew it, it has like so it has that kind of tartness at the beginning, mm-hmm. but then the big sweet note that you get from a raspberry with like that clean finish at the end. That's what that tastes like. But you don't have the seeds in it, so you don't kind of have that earthiness to it. But it does have yeah. some depth from it. And it's also super dry. Yes, um, it's not sweet like a lemonade. Yeah. So the. The raspberry we use in there are strained of the seeds, mm. but I think the, the lemon gives it a little bit more stuff. Length, yes. I guess. But yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. job, G. We yeah. did that. Yeah, you did that. We did that. Well, we did that. We did that. We, you Thanks, did that. Campos, who's a big fan of spritzers. Thank you. Yes. So are we. I was actually told by Nikki, she's like, you better never stop making these. <laughs> you better never. You better never stop making these. Okay, so you got a bunch of cool stuff here. What Should else? What else? Cider? What else? You, huh? Cider? Yeah. So it's mystery beer, but it's also kind of related. Yep. Um, spritzers, uh, hard fruit spritzers, are not really, they're not seltzer. They're not seltzer. Uh, they're probably closer to cider. Cider. I think they're, I think that if you think about it, that's the closest thing that you can compare it to. That Ooh. or a cocktail. Yeah, or. Fruit wines, which Doesn't, legally you can't have them under seven percent. That's right. <laughs> so, so they're kind of nothing. Wow, that guy was hauling. Did you see that? Yeah, those go fast. Yeah, that looks like I die. I'm just throwing it out there. Like, oh my god, he's coming back around, dude. I would need like a full body suit to ride one of those things. You see that? That guy was fast. It's a one wheel for everyone that didn't see uh, that behind <laughs> us. <laughs> and that guy this was a one programming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, so this ciders. Is, we're so, going to try some stem. So I think a little... There he is. Here, check him out. There he is. Show him, Johnson. No, no, not necessarily. Oh. No, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> we don't know if you actually want to be sure. Mimosa's sure. <laughs> comparison, Thomas, so, by Don't Peter Out? Huh? Yeah. Mimosa's I'd say, yeah, similar to, similar to like a dry sparkling mimosa. I think the interesting thing about the, when we looked at when we looked at making this we basically said i love cider especially a good dry cider or a peri which is a pear uh cider but sometimes i just don't want apple yeah right and there's really nothing out there that has that same kind of complexity that you get with fermentation from wine or from out or fermented apples in any other fruits right now it's uh from the production side real hard <laughs> to find <laughs> information on what exactly we're making yeah other than that it's uh in the same category yep as from a legal standpoint as seltzers and hard kombucha, kombucha. yeah and things like that so, so we call it a spritzer hard spritzer there you go yeah. what, do, what, what, what so do we we're here? gonna try uh, stem which is one of our favorite cideries out of colorado love their product also love the brand yeah, it's a great, like, I really think, pretty brand. I, I think the brand's also really um, nice. We usually stop by whenever we're in town at GABF. Um, so, yeah, we're going to start with the real dry. And they got us kind of going. So they do one which I think we should do as a slushy. They do that. Uh, they do the guava chili. The chili, which I love. I love chili and guava together. Yes. It's like one of my favorite combinations. So pog with chili sounds fantastic. Yes. All right, so this is stem. From Colorado, this is called Real Dry Six, Apple Cider. 6.8%. 6.8. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Johnson. Cheers. Cheers, viewers. <laughs> oh, it smells good. It smells of apples. Yeah, it's really like <laughs> it is apple. What's the... Is it just apples? Yeah, it's just apples. I don't know where Lafayette is. 
apples. It's fresh pressed apple juice. Perfect. All right, cheers. Lafayette, Lafayette? Not this Lafayette. Oh. oh. <laughs> mm. So you get a lot more. Ooh, that's real dry. Real dry, but still a lot of body. Mm hmm. It's almost got like. Like the body of apple juice, like not fermented apples. Like it's really cool. Well, it's, it's interesting because the other the other cider I really like is Golden State cider, mm -hmm. and they have mighty dry. This is drier than that. This is actually dry. Yeah, the mighty dry, dry is, is like it, semi sweet. Has, has, yeah. has a touch of sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This is, and I, I feel like this is actually drier than these by a touch. I'm not sure if they're actually dry. This, this is more acidic. This is definitely more acidic. Yeah. yeah, like this has a lot more acidity, which is why you and I like it. It's also higher in alcohol. Mm. Six point eight, a meaningful amount higher, which that means it's also going to drive the body mm -hmm. and characteristic in your mouth. This Same with the because this has a ton of it's apple, a ton of malic acid. Uh, so malic acid, acid, it's a rounder. Yeah, yeah it has the it has that tart, tart actual like apple skin acidity because it does taste like green apple skin, like golden that, delicious apple skin. Has that. It does have a golden delicious kind of like because I find gold, so the apples I find very interesting in terms of like they still always taste like apple in my opinion, but as they should as they should. <laughs> are you saying Man, I'm this, getting, are, you, this are, you, one, are, you, are you saying I'm I'm just kind of a little bit on the nose there, buddy? This one tastes like chicken. You got you know some, chi you know some those chicken apples, chicken apples those out, chicken, out in Willows. Chicken apples. <laughs> hey, have you had chicken apple sausage? They're, that, they're, that's delicious. Those are keto apples. <laughs> All right, so but I love I love the beautiful nose. Do we have other ones from them? Yes. All right, let's try. Uh, so we're gonna go into the pear apple cider. So this is a pear and apple, so it's not a peri. Um, a peri would be just pears, FYI. I was as I pour these uh, cider taxation today. And so <laughs> you know how they you know added, just casual reading about <laughs> cider taxation. The hard cider. You know, super exciting. Uh, the hard cider category. Yes. It's technically, it's like legally, it's that's a category. Hard uh, cider? Hard cider, in within wine. Um, the reason why you'll see a lot of ciders flavored with hops and tea and mm -hmm. non-fruit yeah. is because they get a lower tax rate. Really? So if, once you add fruit to it, it becomes wine, wine tax, rate. tax rate. Interesting. But as long as, you don't, if, as long as you add spices or herbs or teas, it's not considered. Does this have anything else? No, so that's a that's hard cider. This raspberry one would, would, is actually not technically a hard cider. Got it. Tax Got it. All right. Well, cheers. That's cheers. our legal just, hour. This is, there's our legal uh, legal hour for legal advice around how to make alcoholic beverages so and is, pay the least amount of taxes. Contact Thomas Bell. Actually, don't. don't please. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this is uh, this is uh, just fresh pressed apple juice and fresh pressed pear juice. Thanks. Th uh, this one, this one has kind of a, I get a little buttery nose. Do you? Like. Like almost like you get like with the I get like, like Chardonnay kind of flare pear floral I think I see what you mean by butter yeah it kind of oh yeah it kind of yeah. has like this so almost like Chardonnay has honey that. honeysuckle yes honeysuckle white flower geranium yeah geranium geranium yeah. right it's got like that kind of mm. I'm digging this one yeah. you like that one yeah this yeah one's good. it's a little this sweeter right a little sweeter yeah. a little more body yep so this is off dry is what it says. Six point or five point three percent. Oh wow, yeah, much sweeter. Much sweeter. And what's the uh, what's the sugar in it? Eleven grams. So okay, yeah. that makes. These are the, the same calories between the two, but this is. But this is five point three percent. So that's interesting. So calories and alcohol are directly related. We've talked about that before, but a lot of people don't know that because so. alcohol is food. <laughs> <laughs> and alcohol at one point was sugar. Yes. Right. So alcohol is food. Alcohol. Forget food. John, Johnson is one of your food groups, This bro. is definitely like... Forget food. I'm just going to drink alcohol. I feel like the, the pear just makes it a little more sessionable. The pear note. Well, it definitely it takes away the acidity. extra complexity to it. Ross, I love six. Uh, thank you. Never has them, but I love them Cali craft. Ah, thank you. Young. All right. Yeah, so if you like the spritzers, you probably you, like You them. probably like, their, like the stem stuff specifically because... It's a little, it's drier. It's more like what we're doing, but this has a lot more sugar than our stuff. Yes. Yeah. So this might be the perfect one today. Oh, look raspberry. At that. Seriously? Oh, cider. nice. And this Man, is these dry, 6.7%. These are so much different than cider, though. Like, yeah, they're, they're related. You can't get away from the apple. And no. malic acid is a, like, 
to get Doesn't super work. geeky about it for a second, Thank you. Um, the acid profile is way different. Um, and acid is what makes wine taste like wine. It's why, you know, uh, a mojito yeah. tastes different than a uh, whiskey sour, which is made with lemons, right? Limes versus lemons. The acids acid change totally everything. Different. Yeah. Um, and so our spritzers, because we focus on fresh fruit, the acid profile is really hard to compare to other things because most things aren't made with this much fruit. And what I, we all, you hit the nail on the head. And, and as we've been going through and making all of our test batches of these, specifically that pineapple mango skew, yeah. that was really hard to get right with acid. Yeah, because and we don't want to like exactly. adjust. We learned them. We one time we tried to adjust with the acid, yeah. and it just like just a little bit boom because it's exponential in yeah. terms of how it hits your mouth. Exactly, and that's why, like, I think most people just end up working with apples or grapes <laughs> they naturally, because they're naturally kind of perfect yeah. in terms of what makes what we like as yeah. human to ma- beings. To make that takes a lot of coddling to yes. make the fruit happy. Yes. So here we go. Stem, raspberry. Cheers. Raspberry. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, no. <laughs> What's up, you guy? Don't Definitely apple. Out. All right, yeah. gentlemen. I got back. I, I need to get back to packing. Looking forward to them. Be packed. Send some to Colorado. Ah, they're coming, brother. Peter, we love you. We'll miss you, man. So this one, you, you, no matter See, this what, is a, this is a good. This is a good. It smells great. Yeah. But this is a good reason why we have these, because. And also, it smells it, like apple. Look at the difference in color. I, I don't know if you can see that as well, but that shows you the difference. Like, if you just have raspberries versus apple and raspberries. Right, that's the difference in terms of color. It's also I find it in terms of intensity. Yeah. Right. So the intensity of this one, I can I, I haven't even tasted it yet, but I can already smell it. I get mostly apple. Yeah. Uh, ATV one one three nine nine wants to know on a scale of one to ten, what do you guys give it? This, we don't this give one? numerical ratings. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I think overall, I give I give STEM probably like an eight. Right, as a company, this one. They're 10 out of 10 for me. Like everything I drink on this show. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I like it. What's, is there just raspberries in it? Is it raspberry? Just the raspberries? Raspberries and apple. That's it? Yeah. I love it. Ooh, the finish to that is like a. It's bone dry. It, yeah, so it's like super also dry. Zero sugar, that's why. A little oh. real talk on why I don't personally believe in numerical reviews for us is because we make things and we sell things. So it's somewhat, we're always going to be biased. <laughs> Otherwise, if we if we loved everything perfectly, we'd make exactly that. Yes, which is So awesome. if this was perfect for my palate, I would be making exactly this. Uh, and we don't. Uh, so... There, but he got all he got all like cerebral on I you right think, there. You uh, see that? That was like one that of was, the one of the issues in that. beer culture look, look is, is numerical numer- writers. <laughs> <laughs> I do agree with that. How What's do you it? how do you rate a triple IPA versus a Pilsner? Uh, you don't. You don't. Six point seven dry. That was good. I give these a thumbs up. Yeah, I mean, it, like stem stuff for me. If you like um, drier styles, and if you like, still like. Wine esque, wine so wine esque, but also like, very approachable. Yeah. Like it's not funky. Yeah, it's not you know those but, kind of ciders, which I yeah like Normandy style. Yeah, ciders. yeah, they're real. They're, they get real funky. Yeah, Richard probably has some, but I guarantee he probably has some here. Okay, right. so you got oh you got more? I got one more. Hi, rooted. Hi, rooted. What's up, rooted? What's up, rooted? Congrats oh, on the new. Congrats on the new space downtown, dude. We're so stoked for you. If you did not hear. Rooted is opening its second location in downtown. It's in the old coffee shop location. It's across from. It's called the coffee shop. Yeah, yeah that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of on, speaking of on the nose. It's um, I don't remember the street. What's the street? Locust. Locust Street. There you go. It's on Locust Street. What's up, brother? Uh, yeah, good man. We saw you jet through here. You scared me. No, it's good. It, you, He's you, easily you, frightened. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was I was impressed. So that's the guy on the one thingy. If there were more kids, I would have gone way slower. <laughs> <laughs> See that? Responsible ca- people here at Calicraft. That's how that works. So, Rooted, shout out to you. Uh, this, you have need to, to try. try this. this is Raspberry Lemon Spritzer. Raspberry Lemon Spritzer. Not lemonade, so it's not sweet. Super raspberry and beautiful. Perfect for summer. I think you guys are going to love it. 
All right, what's this? This was something I saw at the store. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, I don't know who they are. I don't know what they do. So, uh, um, it looks pretty. STEM was personal because I, I truly like what they're doing. This yeah. is just something else. You know what that's um, called? Good packaging. Good packaging. So this yeah. is Alentia. Alentia. Sparkling mezcal. Where are they from? Um, mezcal. Pineapple jalapeno. Ooh. Um, I've been I kind like of mezcal. I've been into mezcal recently. Uh, imported by it's, uh, someone in Miami. I guess these are actually made in Mexico. Are they? It's imported. Does that does that mean maybe this imported the like mezcal? No, no. No, Ancho in Mexico. Born in California, made in Mexico. I believe Ancho in Mexico means made in Mexico. That's my best Spanish right there. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. You're welcome. See? <laughs> my grandma so, uh, my grandma's from Zacatecas. That's yes. that but she never taught me Spanish. So um, yeah, made with all right. Mezcal. Does Let's it try. say does it say does that it's freeze? mezcal with natural flavors and carbonation. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Uh, I, I, li- I like the package. Check out the package. The package is sweet. Beautiful. Oh, that's like a little agave tree right there, huh, dude? I think so. Oh, yeah, it is like an agave. It's like the piña. Agave, agave grows in trees. Uh, <laughs> agave <laughs> grows in trees. Have you ever seen one of those agave plants when it does like the crazy thing with the big yeah. dealio? The big thing? Uh, yeah, the big, the big thing. I, I, I went to, ge- <laughs> I went to Gila like Tracy. A- what is that? What did we do? Oh, that John. was Johnson's arm. Oh, that, sure. happened, that happened a while ago. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. It's only. It's a minute later, Johnson. It looks kind of like Gatorade <laughs> Frost. Like the texture. It's adult too. Gatorade. They made adult Gatorade. It smells like mezcal. <laughs> yeah. It's a cold chill. Oh yeah. So huh? what? What is it that you? So I'm curious. What is it that you like about mezcal? That's a great question. Um, I think everyone in this industry, the the food and beverage industry. Uh, yeah, you, what is it? The, yeah. the bartender's handshake is a in San Francisco is a shot of um, Frenette. Okay, yeah. right. That's the bartender's handshake. I think everyone's palate is so wrecked <laughs> that like we just look for like like being able to taste something again. That's why I think you know people love like barrel proof bourbons yeah. and Isla scotches, and in this case mezcal. I love mezcal because I think all of them are different. It's yep. it's much more like beer where. I think a lot of, even bourbon, for example, and I love, you know, we love bourbon, but uh, bourbon, there's, it's like red wine, where there's a definitive style. Yep. Mezcal is like, it's very regional. It's very much dependent on each individual producer makes a different product. And so I think that's why it's super interesting. So so I have a story about mezcal. So I was in Zihuataneo, right? Not part of the Sasha Lake Redemption, but on that same beach. Right, and I had no idea what mezcal was except for the locals, because we always ask the locals where you should eat. Right, mm-hmm. and they said you gotta go to this place for pozole. So we show up for pozole, huge bowl, all the fixings, and they bring a Dasani bottle, <laughs> right, with no label on it, with water. I thought they're like, after each bite, take a little shot. I was like, I guess they want me to stay hydrated, <laughs> right? I was wrong. Really big on hydration. <laughs> so what it was is they had a huge thing of mezcal in the back. And what they do is they bring you a, a 20 ounce like Dasani bottle with mezcal. And if you finish it, they bring you more. By the time we were done with the pozole, couldn't walk. <laughs> but should. I had no idea how strong mezcal was. We should do that here. <laughs> I smell fire. It's the mezcal. <laughs> I think it is a mezcal. <laughs> really? I'm not. I mean, like that's kind of a joke, but also I think it's also like it's, this mezcal is pretty smoky. Yes. What? <laughs> I know John, Johnson's been sitting here like something's on fire, boys. Or something's wrong with Johnson. <laughs> Whoa! Do you smell? I don't smell fire. Cool. No, I smell smoke. So that the, that would I, be a thirsty Thursday first. Yes. <laughs> well, let's not catch the place on fire, boys. No. That, that seems like a terrible idea. So but, it smells like um. It smells like mezcal, where you get that. What is it? Smoky, All those, earthy, yeah, smoky, earthy, herbally, medicinal kind of characters that are like really hit hard at first. Those are all the nice words. Yes, like, I, and this is someone I, I I really enjoy mezcal, but you get like that big O tires. Like, I was, I was like gonna say that new tires. I was store, literally fresh gonna tires say yes. or like Payless shoe store. Yes, like you get like like these like but in a good way. In the best way possible. It's like tires, but in a good way. Yeah, it's like tires. It's not burnt tires. It's they're not fresh burnt. tires. They're, fre- they're fresh. Yeah, they're fresh. So they're, they're Never used. 
<laughs> that that? is delicious. Like What's fresh, that? never used tires. Yokohama. Just get, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. <laughs> Touch a Michelin. <laughs> a little Goodyear. Good <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how I feel about 2021, baby. It's gonna be a good year. <laughs> Keep on bringing the mezcal drinks. It's gonna um, be a good year. Yeah, you know, I don't really get a ton of pineapple. No, the thing I like about it is, and but you get a hint of spice. Like you get a little bit of it. This is one of the better drinks. How much was this? Out of curiosity. Oh, kind of expensive. <laughs> okay, well that makes sense. <laughs> I think like fourteen ninety nine or something like that. For four, right? Yeah. It's good though. What's the ABV? Now you got a little. It's like um, pineapple water. Like if you went to like five percent, like a spa, and they had like fresh cut pineapple. What do you mean? It's like if water. you went to a spa. This is the Cali Craft Spa, baby. The Cali Craft today, Spa today. Today, it's the Cali Craft Spa. This is our spa water. It's called Alentia. I I like the mezcal. I think they can improve what they're doing with the flavor additions. I think the mezcal would be better on its own. It's mostly it's it's mo- yeah. That's what I was gonna say. It's mostly just mezcal with water. Yeah. Like I think if they amp actually, this is one of the times I'd say I think if they used like a little bit more flavor, I think it would actually support the concept. A little more fruit and like acid. Yeah. I think a little more acid. Would be it's nice. a little flabby. Yeah, and I think the the texture is like the texture is. It is like Gatorade frost. Like there, there's like a thickness to it, mm-hmm. in like a soda way. Yep. It's not bad though. See, it's I like good. It. I like it. Refreshing. I would drink like if this was at a party, I'd drink it. Yeah, I'd take this to a party. Yeah, you just have to spend like a hundred dollars. Well, let's be let's be clear. <laughs> I would take four to a party. <laughs> take, let's see, take four. These are five percent, right? Yeah. So yeah, for five percent, the value proposition is is quite tough. Cool. But that's that's all the ready to drink cocktail type things. I do agree. They're with just that. hard to make sense. That's why we that's why we make these. The other thing that people probably don't know is the reason why it's because taxation on on, on distilled, distilled spirits, spirits is yeah. super high. So the reason why those cocktails are so expensive that you get is because taxation's high. Therefore, they gotta charge a lot. Right. So what they're trying. So what you're gonna find most companies are trying to get the cheapest form of alcohol in there as possible, so they can get their price point lower. Not mutually beneficial. Are you Are you blending that with spritzer? It's there. Oh, is that better? Does it get, with a little extra flavor. I don't know if it's better, but it's it's interesting. It's in, well, but we like interesting. All right. I kind of like that. That's Cal and Spritzer. I'm gonna That's try a that new tonight. one. That's, That's a new one. Cocktail. Ooh, I like that. I bet you it'd also be good with lime and pineapple mango. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There we go. And like a, a chili garnish. Yeah. Chili salt. Ooh, or like chili tahine salt. or something. Tahine. I yeah. love tahine. You, you, we, that's what we should do next time. Let's do tahine. We do tahine. Tahine. Tahine garnish. rimmed spritzer. Spritzer. Let's see if we can't serve mezcal Spritzer. Here. It's like slushy. Slushy. I like it. Ooh, can, that's we, a good idea. We actually. can smoke the spritzer. We could. Really? Like a smoke. How do you do that? He's got tricks. He's got tricks. <laughs> All right, let's re- <laughs> let's recap. <laughs> Woo, man, it's nice to be back on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. It's fun. All right, well, that's why we do it because it's fun. <laughs> uh, real quick, um, yeah. comments by Chorus underscore Jojo. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Was that two J's or is that? Yeah, it's two J's. <laughs> yeah, wait, what's, what's yeah. yeah. Uh, cool Kids is my number one, but willing to try all these out. Pretty cool that you guys are this big. Cool. Thank you. He can. <laughs> J- Johnson's out of practice. He's had some mezcal. This is what happens to Johnson. Yeah, mezcal and Johnson. Mezcal and Johnson. Yeah, like, they, they, the, no bueno. The phonics go out the window. Yeah, that, that, that's, I mean, that's yes, how I get do. down, fellas. That, that's how. That's, that is how you get down, brother. <laughs> all right. So to recap, I guess I'll start with the most recent to the our stuff backwards first time see backwards first time so alenta sobriety uh, check you you have to read it you have to read them backwards (laughs) oh there you go (laughs) so sparkling mezcal with jalapeno and pineapple uh pretty good overall as a beverage uh love the packaging and branding yeah i I think that's fantastic I think they did a really good I was good uh, pleasantly surprised by how much I enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I, I was not expecting much. And the mezcal, and it seems like a like decent, decent quality. quality yeah. right? It's not like some of this great stuff you can get at your local kind of fun shop. Then after that, we did uh, our friends at STEM. What's up, Ciders. STEM? Uh, we did their variety six-pack, which 
is an awesome format. We will not be doing this, but uh, <laughs> that, awesome but format. It, but it'd be fantastic yeah. if we could. Yeah, and so we did the uh, real dry, the pear, and the raspberry. Actually, in reverse order, we did the raspberry, raspberry pear, and dry. real dry. See that? <laughs> Checking it. Failed. Um, Failed. I, I never understood the sobriety test. I can't say <laughs> the alphabet backwards when I'm sober. <laughs> But that might just be because I can't read, like Johnson. <laughs> um, hey, I, I, I could read. <laughs> read. <laughs> so we did raspberry first, which was just apples and raspberries. This is part of the real dry. I think it's probably added. It's probably these two are the same base that they put some ra that they did raspberries in. Super dry, like six point seven. See if I got that right. Yeah, See, six point seven. Six point seven. Um, nice kind of raspberry character, but just super dry, drinkable. drinkable. Very rosé wine-like. Very rosé yeah. wine-like. And then we did the pear, which was the most, like, round, I think what, if you like cider because it's sweet, this is the one for you. Yes. Um, also Chardonnay. Or also Chardonnay. I think, it's I think it's very sweet. round. Yes. Um, and you do get that vanilla honeysuckle yes. butter kind of note. Yes. And then the, the and then last one from them was the right. real, real dry, dry, which is real, my favorite. That's mine too. I'm going back to that. So that that is just like beautiful fresh apples, like really. I, I kind of get like Honeycrisp as a. Like, oh. I like Honeycrisp apples. It's like a blend of Honeycrisp and like really nice green apples, yeah. like not Granny Smith. Not Granny. But like, <laughs> I hate Granny Smith. The only way <laughs> like, to eat those is like if they're cooked. Yeah, like. Uh, like a good like like a British apple, like for a pie or something. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it has and it has that crisp cleanness at the end. Yeah, it's like right. biting it in half. You need to talk about the raspberry. And then we started with raspberry lemon. It seems like so long ago, Tom. Uh, uh, and announcing our variety pack spritzers. Uh, so raspberry lemon, not a lemonade. Uh, not a lemonade. More like a you know raspberry fruit cider yeah. or raspberry fruit wine with a twist of lemon at the end. Um, it's Lemon's gonna be more like a like a like a Meyer lemon, yeah, versus like a like floral lemon versus a like lemon. A, uh, super attack you in the face sour lemon. Um, so you're saying it's not like a warhead? These are Remember like that? these are not made with warheads, contrary to popular belief. <laughs> However, you know how much it would cost for us to make it with warheads? Like, more, I was buying candy. Candy's not cheap, dude. I I saw that the other day. I was like, candies are. Like, I remember it was like twenty five yeah, to fifty yeah, yeah. cents. I go there, it's like two. Yeah, you're gonna write it. In, yeah, they're all like weird numbers. They're I like, know, like two, I know. two fifty-seven. That doesn't make any sense <laughs> yeah. to me. Shouldn't it just be like if I'm a kid? It's some, sugar. You know, that's it. Yeah, it's sugar. That's it. I mean, in a kid, what kid carries change? <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe they're distract. Maybe it's all on their phones now. There's parents. Yeah, they're all using Google Pay. Exactly. Just like Pay. they have no idea. So they're just like. Maybe that's what they're doing. Bit, they're, Bitcoin's they're, the way to go these days, guys. Yes. <laughs> oh, do, 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 Dogecoin. <laughs> Dogecoin, yeah. Dogecoin. There you go. Dogecoin oh. to the moon. <laughs> All right. Well, Johnson, any other questions or comments? Question, comments, guys. Yay, nay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, that, that, that would be a statement, Johnson. Oh, uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> um, All right, take us out, good. Johnson. All right, Johnson, going take us out. Going twice. Here we go. Johnson, do it. All right, guys, thank you again for tuning in to another th episode of Thirsty Thursday. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Come on down, get yourself a V-Pack, try out the new Raspberry Lemon this week, now, tomorrow, weekend, whenever. Until then, drink beer, make love. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Say bye here, Johnson. Bye here, Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, and we are... Hold on. Thomas, you do this. Thank you. <laughs> I love the yo's give it up. I love it.